Welcome to Savvy Business, Life Unscripted, with your host, Christina Rivera, where our guests share their wisdom and valuable business tips, empowering our audience to expand their personal potential. Hi, Felicia Cersei. Welcome to Savvy Broadcasting Life Unscripted. I'm so grateful to have you here this evening. It's such a blessing having you here. I know you actually rescheduled because my little doggy friend uh, got sick. Oh, that's right. Yeah. I'm really grateful. Thank you so much. But it's great. You're going to talk today about how to get unstuck in 2021. I love it because we had talked uh, just briefly before the interview how many business owners, whether you're just getting out of the gate, will get stuck or you've built a multi million, billion dollar company and you get to a certain level and you just don't go any further. Yeah. And so you're going to help people break through those blocks. But before we go to sharing those awesome details, share a little bit about your backstory. Yeah. So um, um, I've been a student of universal law, which I'm going to be speaking to for decades and applied it in my life. My life got off the chart. Great. In fact, outside looking in, I didn't want for anything. Yet there was still this longing for more. And I work with people in four areas because, you know, you can build an amazing business, yeah. but you are not truly wealthy if it's at the expense of your health or your relationships, right? Mm -hmm. And so um, I work with health, relationships, your vocation, how you're sharing your gifts and your talents, and your freedom on your calendar and your checkbook. And the two areas for me that were sticking points were my vocation, that I wanted to grow what I was doing, and I wanted to grow my wealth because I wanted to create a bigger impact in both. And, and I, I just remember feeling so frustrated because I just couldn't move and guilty that I wanted more because my life was so good, but trusting that there, that, that, um, there was something behind that desire. Yeah. And so that's when I made a decision that I don't care what it was going to take. I was going to get the spiritual success stuff figured out. And I started on this journey of really learning how to crack that code, began to apply it. My life got off the chart good. And I love that this is what I get to share with others now. I love that you mentioned that because very early on, I hired a mentor, thank God, a business mentor, because I saw someone who was at where I wanted to be. And I was, yeah. so I said, okay, you're the gal. I want to live your lifestyle in a couple of years. So let me jime up with you. But what's interesting about her is she said, I got to a point for 12 years, I was making 150, you know, mid range, yep. you know, and doing awesome. And I was like, if I want to grow more, like, I think it's human nature to expand, to grow. It's part of who we are. It always, and it's not about Bingo. the money really. It's about growth. It, yeah. uh, Christina, that is right on. And it's what I help people understand that we are these amazing, um, unlimited beings. It's breathtaking how powerful we are, the brilliance, the beauty, you know, the capacity. And what happens is, is that, you know, we develop it to a certain extent, to a certain degree, and people become complacent, or they feel like that, you know, um, good enough should be good enough, or they don't want to put the good that they've created at risk. Yeah. But the thing about it is life isn't done with you. And the only way life can wake you up to more of who you are created to be mm -hmm. is by beginning to, um, to cause you to be discontented, not you're not ungrateful, but there's a discontent with what is because it's life saying, Hey, 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 don't stop here. There's so much more for you to discover about yourself and bring it forward because this is when we are now bringing even greater contribution to people because we're bringing an even better version yeah. of ourselves to others as you're creating this even more amazing life for yourself. Yeah. And that is so important. My mentor said at that moment, when she got to that place of uncontentment or discontentment. She had said that a lot of people around her, what's your problem? I wish I was doing as well as you. Yes. And, and you want to stay away from that energy. And she said it was hard to break what she did is what I did. She actually hired a mentor that was way beyond her. So he could push her accountability wise to get to the next level because you, you have to drown out those voices who are like, Whoa, who do you think you are? <laughs> well, and here's the thing about a mentor, because I too, um, uh, brought a mentor into my life, right? I got underneath her wing. It's not just the accountability, but it's deepening your understanding of what truly are the cause of our results. And so when I looked for a mentor, I wanted somebody who understood how our results are created. I want somebody who was further down the road, down the path than I was. And it wasn't necessarily that it had to be in my field, 
but that it was somebody who understood that there really is a system to creation and that cared deeply about me. And, and as I, I have, um, hooked to that, this is what I love that I now get to bring other people because here's the thing. We're inside the frame, right? And so it's a process of letting somebody else have access to our thinking. Hmm. So to help us see those places where we're not giving consent to more good. We're not able to see ourselves in the way that's required in order to step into this higher degree of abundance that life is seeking to express through us. Yeah. And that is so important. What's interesting is often we will let the naysayers keep us down and it feels more comfortable to stay in, you know, where we are or where we're, we're at. But what it is amazing is God has so much gifts and talents inside of you that you could just pull out and bloom if you let yourself. And it's not a one day process. I think a lot of people say, and my mentor said, people come to me and said, okay, tell me how to get to ABC so I can get done. (laughs) I want it fast, right? Or or to get to the success. What is success actually? It isn't one thing. You got there, boom, it's over. Well, and the thing that I help people understand is that the process that I walk people through is that it's not a got the goal, check it off, right? It's like check the achievements off. Oftentimes people will share because I talk a lot about universal law, right? And many people will distill it down to one law, the law of attraction, which is actually a secondary law to the law of vibration. And people will talk to me and they'll say, well, I know that. I believe it. I used it to manifest such and such, right? The house, the job, the mate. And and when I hear that, what I'm hearing is that people have um, used it in what's called episodic manifestation, that they've used it to uh, manifest a single thing, but they haven't changed So they're not able to really be present for the experience of it. It's the constant looking over your shoulder, wondering if it's going to be taken away or do I really deserve it? Or, or, you know, is it going to last kind of thing? Right. But when you really work with um, universal principles in a way that you are allowing yourself to catch up with it, Mm-hmm. And you're seeing yourself as the person who's living that life and you're developing those skills, those capabilities, and that identification with it. Mm-hmm. Not only are you creating it, but you're transforming your entire quality of life. Yeah. And you get to be in the experience of it. It's like you get to have it. You catch up and you belong in your life. I notice, you know, what happens is that people will create something, but they don't feel like they belong there. They get that imposter syndrome. What it Absolutely. is, yeah, what it is, is that you have to be that person and know that I am that person. My mentor had said, you don't wait to be like, well, when I become a million, billion, whatever heir, uh, I'm going to act like it. It's like, no, no, you be that person. That's it. What is that person right now, right here? And you be that, become that, be that right now. That's it, Christina, because here's the thing. We will never outperform the way we see ourselves. Mm -hmm. And so, you know, the thing that I talk about, you know, first I invite somebody to, you know, um, uh, use this amazing faculty of our imagination and begin to weave a dream, a vision by asking the most powerful question that we can ask. What would I love? Understanding that you are entering into the conversation of, of the um, the energy of love itself, you know, with spirit, the universe, God, whatever you want to call it, that you are entering into this conversation with that energy itself, that life force energy. Then you're working with that vision and this amazing faculty of our imagination as you are now sending out these signals into this invisible field. And that vision then informs who do I need to grow into? What do I need to discover about myself and who do I need to be in order to allow that? And so I I talk about building a relationship with the person who created that and literally zipping yourself into the skin Mm. of that man or the woman who did that. And so asking, how does that person show up? How does that person feel? Knowing that it all worked out in my life today, how does that person feel? And we have these two amazing superpowers. One of them is that we get to consciously choose images that we mentally rehearse in our imagination. And the second is that you actually get to choose the way you feel. And so you would feel amazing now. And so you generate those feelings. Then you ask the person who achieved this, 
How did that person walk in the room today? How does that person have this interview? How does that person brush your teeth? You're going to be somebody. You're either going to be the person who created your current results, or you're going to be the person who created your new results. Now, the reason why this is so important is because you do um, this thing called generate state, which actually causes you to think differently. Now you have access to a whole new level of creativity. You're hooking into a stream of intelligence that's always guiding you. And now you're actually able to entertain ideas that have always been there, but now you can hear them and you can act on them and you can see opportunities that have always been there, but now you can see them and you can act on them and you can welcome more good because you're building a greater sense of connection with it, a sense of worthiness, a sense of deserving, and a sense of identification. And now you had mentioned uh, generation, how do you call it? Generate, 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 generate a state of being. Generate state of being. Interestingly, does that start with the vision and, and starting to put into picture what you are desiring? Is that the Absolutely. Process? Yeah, because here's the thing, this amazing thing about your imagination, people will come to me and they'll say, hey, I don't have time to division. That's like saying, I don't have time to deal with gravity, yeah. right? Because we're always visioning something and your vision is going to determine how you see yourself and what you believe is possible. So if you're not running a vision for what you want, all you can do is run a vision for the default. Yeah. Absent and intelligent design. The only thing you can do is revert back to what's been, back to the default. Yeah. So your vision begins to generate um, a whole new possibility for you. And then the work is to see you in it. You have to be in it. Yeah. And that then informs who are you being, back to what you were talking about before, the beingness, which creates the state of being that then organizes your thinking, organizes your activity, and organizes um, the energy around you and organizes your results. Wow. It is so fascinating. I've seen this in action with myself and others. And yeah. it, it usually what it will tend to happen is you'll begin to say, okay, I want a different life. I want X, Y, Z. And you start to plan and vision. And then as you start to envision it and see yourself in it, then like, let's say for, we moved recently uh, halfway across the country before we had the idea to do that. I was like, well, how do you even do that? How do you move a whole house and people like 2,400 miles away? You begin to first envision it. And then be, as you go to keep envisioning and you can see yourself in it, then the idea of, oh, here's how we could do it. That's it. it. That's it's like it. a, a certain step process. First, you have to decide, you have to envision it, and then it starts to manifest like, oh, here's the steps you can start to make, take towards the end. That's it. And here's the amazing thing about it. Those steps have been there all along. You just couldn't see them thinking from the place of how do you even do that and not even entertaining it um, for yourself, right? And so giving yourself permission to really think think big and bold and get super clear about that vision. And so with your business, that big, bold business that you would love to build, that's bringing terrific contribution mm -hmm. to the people around you. And then to begin to actually see yourself in it and ask, who do I need to be? What do I need to know about myself? What do I need to cultivate? And then pay attention to the guidance that you're receiving about this next action step, you know, this next bold move while staying in that state of being. And here's the piece that people miss mm. is that you have to literally train yourself to allow more good. You have to learn how to allow more good in your life. So you have to literally, you know, increase your um, capacity to capacitate more abundance, more success, more wealth. And so there's a whole process of learning how to build your um, your abundance container to let yourself to give consent to having more. I love that. That is so amazing, Felicia, because I, I realized, you know, when I first started my business, I got a lot of, yeah, who do you think you are yeah. trying to move out and do all this? And I'm sure this is the same idea that happens to everyone who moves out, grows, expands. You'll get people around you will be like, well, what are you doing? And then you'll start to yes. see they're right. Maybe I don't deserve this. Now, how do you begin, if you're feeling the undeservingness, how do you begin to, well, deserve it and feel that you deserve it? 
Yeah. First thing, surround yourself with a community that people will look you in the eye and say, absolutely, um, you deserve it and that you have the capacity to do it. So they have partners in believing. Back to what we talked about before, you know, having a mentor, reaching out to you and the amazing work that you're doing, you know, Christina, of, of um, having somebody who will support you in the process where you will help you then give yourself permission to begin to dream right? To begin to dream more expansively, bigger, bolder, and to be in that question, what would I love? And then the other piece with that is to understand that the answer to that question, it's not, it's not you wanting it. That desire is not your desire. It is life itself seeking a richer, freer, fuller expression through you and by means of you. It is the way that life is inviting you to discover more and to bring more. And so when people really understand the nature of your desire, it's like you give yourself permission to dream. It's the universe's prayer to you, not your prayer to the universe. That is so absolutely perfect. When, um, when I got started, you know, a lot of people would be like, well, you know, stay here. It's safe. You get a lot of that safety yeah. bit. But what people don't realize, if you're not expanding and growing and using your fullest potential as much as you can on a daily basis and continually to grow, because it's not one step we're there and it's all over you get to give greater. Just imagine if you do reach a million dollars, if that is your goal, now how much more can you give to people to life? Okay. And, you know, not just monetarily, but now you're able to give um, your, your services more. I know people who've now grown enough, they have enough of a staff, they can go out and do philanthropy or they can go out and be in the community. But if you don't give your gifts and talents or expand them, you won't have much to give. Yeah, I hear people, you know, talk about it's not about the money, mm -hmm. right? And it's not. But but here's the thing, good people with good money do good um they do good things, mm -hmm. right? And and it's realizing that it, as especially as a business owner, the money represents the impact that you're making. Income equals impact, Im impact equals income. And so when you're deeply committed to serving, with whatever it is that is yours to bring forward, then the, um, the, the money is just simply a result of that. Yeah, absolutely. It's so true. I remember having a conversation many, many years ago with a coach who said to me, well, I don't like to charge for coaching. I often give it away for free because I don't like people like Tony Robbins who charges so much for a weekend. Uh, and I'm like, but how many people have you been able to help in this past year? And how many people has he been able to help? Yeah, so, perfect. Yep. So it's really coming from it, that perspective. You know, you're she's acting like I'm taking when you're when you're you know charging people for your coaching, but you're not. You're giving a valued service, and they're paying you for it. That's simply it. When what they're doing is that they're saying, "I deserve this. I am worthy. This is a priority." Mm -hmm. And then I'm I'm matching my my finances with what I'm declaring is a priority. So I'm a priority. My dreams a priority. I matter, and I matter enough to invest in myself. Yeah, this has been so awesome. We could go on for hours, but I know you have to go. But Felicia, please tell everyone where they can find out more about you, get a hold of you. How can they do that? Yeah, so go to my website, FeliciaCircy.com. And then um, um, can I share a gift or is that? Yeah, yeah. absolutely. We love gifts. <laughs> yeah. so, so I wrote out like a, a, a whole guide on the formula that I share with people, how to have your best life, that there really is a system. So I wrote it all out and gave you some exercises to work with it. And so if you want that, go to um, FeliciaCircy.com forward slash gift and, and claim yours. Awesome. And if anyone's wondering how to spell uh, Felicia uh, Cersei, it's right behind you there the whole time. So. Yes, it is my branding. <laughs> so that that's S E A R C E in case you are listening to the -Y. podcast. Yeah. So uh, please go out there today, find out more about her. And thank you so much, Felicia. This has been fabulous. I know you've given so many tips that are going to really expand people's um, mind and their business. Thank you so much. Yeah. Thank you, Christina. Like, subscribe, and share this episode. To listen to more savvy episodes and savvy biz tips, go to www.lifeunscriptedradio.com. To find out about our paid sponsorship opportunities or how to become a guest, email Christina at lifeunscriptedradio.com.